The Logical Failure of Evolution From Rian Visser The fundamental atheistic premise is an existence without God. This creates countless logical problems. It's been extensively demonstrated that atheism isn't a logical position. Now as for evolutionists, it's again a logic problem, even ignoring the fact that most evolutionists are atheist, as most atheists are evolutionists. Even theistic evolutionists demonstrate logical inconsistencies, especially if they profess themselves Christian. But let's get to the actual core of the matter. Evolutionary theory posits that small incremental unguided changes in the genome can result in novel functional instructional information about how to perform tasks so complex, we still don't understand most of them. This is a logical impossibility, has been demonstrated a hundred times over. Now you can pretend this isn't a problem, and pretend that natural selection magically makes your random mutations non-random, but it's all meaningless and desperate avoidance of the logical problem staring you in the face. Here is the evolutionary statement for this. Functional instructional information can arise through natural processes. This is not a testable statement. Nothing we do can ever prove to you, the evolution believer, that this is impossible. You will continue to believe that it might be, because if you accept it cannot, then you have to face God. Therefore the evolution believer's position is firstly not scientific, and secondly, the logical problem here is that there is zero observation to even suggest that such a thing could be possible, and this is where evolutionists fall off the logic wagon altogether. The typical evolution believer response is to claim some nonsense about how natural selection fixes all of this, and the evolution believer's thinking processes then shut down. But, the factual logical impossibility is still staring you in the face. The fundamental claim from evolutionary theory is logically and statistically impossible, and has zero observational confirmation, or even a proper testable hypothesis to explain how natural selection can create the complex functional instructions we observe in biological creatures. I believe, earnestly, that if evolutionists would start being honest about the facts, then their rational minds would inevitably show them that evolutionism is simply another man-made religion. Naturalistic mega-evolution is an atheist origin myth with zero observation, testability, repeatability, or even a rational testable explanation of how it works, for mega-evolution. Mega-evolution makes statements regarding a history that no one can observe, test or repeat, with the only record of it, the writing of biased men who lived millions of years after the fact. A creation myth followed by millions, of humans, as unquestionable fact, preached by the same biased men, who claim themselves authority over the masses. And then there are the faithful disciples, who just repeat what they have been told by self-professed scientists, who act as priests of this new religion. But can we test any of the evolution believer's beliefs? Clearly not, because evolution beliefs are metaphysical, and clearly religious. And for anyone to think these evolution beliefs are science is irrational and illogical since the beliefs are not testable or falsifiable in deep time. Conclusion 1. Naturalistic mega-evolution is a logical failure. 2. It is logically impossible for random chance and or natural selection to create complex functional instructions on how to complete complex tasks needed for biological creatures to live and function. Thanks to Rian Visser for the text above, with minor edits for clarity. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.